Hello, our next lesson is lesson 6.2, breaking apart three di digit add-ins. So you should be able to explain it at the end of this lesson. How do you break apart add-ins, the numbers that we add, to, to add hundreds, tens, and then ones? So basically what we're doing is breaking a three digit number into its hundreds value, its tens value, and its ones value. Okay, and then we would add those all together. So listen to the following problem. And what I want you to do is I want you to write the number that I give you here. I want you to tell me how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones that is. And then I want you to tell me the value of that. So if I have like two hundreds, you would write two hundred. If I have five tens, you would write fifty. If I have eight ones, you would write eight. Okay. All right. So here's the first problem. After I finish reading it, I want you to pause and fill in the top box. Write the number 258 on the blank in the left corner of the first box. Also draw a quick picture for that number in the space right here. Okay. All right. So go ahead and pause the video. Quick picture. Break it apart into its hundreds, tens, and ones, and then tell me the value of each digit. All right. Is this what you came up with? So I said write 258. So if we're drawing a quick picture, it would be two hundreds, five tens, and eight ones. So, two hundreds, five tens, eight ones. So now just break it apart and tell me its value. So two hundreds, we would write two hundred. Plus the tens, there are five tens, so that's fifty. Plus the ones, there are eight ones. So if we put that all together, we would say 258. All right, so do the same thing for the following number. Pause the video after I give you the number to put. Write the number 325 on the line. Then in the space, draw a quick picture. Tell me how many hundreds, how many tens, and ones, and then what is each of the place values value. All right, go ahead and pause the video and do that. All right, did you come up with this? So the number I said to write was 325. So hundreds would be three squares, two ten rods, and five ones. So we'd write three in front of the hundreds. We'd write two in front of the tens. And you should have written five in the ones. And then you just write their values. So three hundreds, three hundred. Two tens, twenty. Five ones, five. So 325 can be broken into 300 plus 20 plus five. Okay. All right, let's look at page 286. <clears throat> All right, so break apart the add-ins into hundreds, tens, and ones. Add the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. Then find the total sum. So 538, we have five hundreds, which is 500. We have three tens, which is 30. And we have eight ones. Five hundred thirty eight. Two hundred sixteen. We have two hundreds. We have one ten, which is ten. And we have six ones. Okay. Now we have seven hundreds, right? Five hundred plus two hundred is seven hundred. Thirty and ten more would be forty. 8 and 6, that's 14. Okay, now, we know what 
40 plus 14 is, right? We should be able to do that in our head, basically. 40 and one more 10 is 50. Four. 40 plus 14 is 54. So 754. So how about this next one, number one? Let's break it into its place value. We're going to start here in the hundreds. So we have three hundreds. So its value is 300. We have two tens. So its value is 20. We only have one one. So that's worth one. 457. There's four in the hundreds place. So 400. Five in the tens place. Which is 50. And we have seven ones. So a value of seven. Add up each of the place values. 400 and 700, 300 is seven hundreds, right? Four plus three is seven, so 700. 50 and 20 more is 50, 60, 70. Seven and one more, eight. Now put that together, 778. Again, remember that if you start to feel like, oh, I've got this, go ahead and pause the video, do your work, and you can always come back and check your work to see if you did it correctly. 744. So 700, 40, and four ones. 162. There's a one in the hundreds place, and there's only one of them. Six tens, 60. And two ones, two. 700 and 100, 800, 60 and 40, that's 100, and 4 ones and 2 ones is 6 ones. All right, let's add that. 800 plus 100, that's 900, 900 plus 6, 906, 254. Mm -hmm. 200 plus 50 plus 4. 536. 500 plus 30 plus 6. Add, them, add up the hundreds. 500 and 200, 700. 50 and 30 is 80. And 6 and 4 is 10. So we have 780 plus 10. So 80 plus 10 is 90. So 790. Look at 287. 374. And okay, so that's how you should have broken apart 374. 518. Five hundred and three hundred, eight hundred, seventy and ten, eighty, eight and four, twelve. Okay, well, we know eighty and twelve, eighty plus ten more is ninety, plus the two, ninety two. So eight hundred, ninety two. Four hundred twenty five. Four hundred twenty five. Two hundred thirty two. Four hundred plus two hundred. Six hundred. Thirty plus twenty. Fifty. Five and two. Seven. Put it together. Six hundred. Plus 50 plus 7. 50 plus 7 is 57. 600 plus 57. 657. 849. 800 plus 40 plus 9. 123. 
8 plus 100 more, 900. 40 plus 20, 60. 9 plus 3, 12. Okay, let's go ahead and combine the 10s and 1s. 60, 72. 60 and 10 more is 70. 70 plus 2 is 72. 72 plus 900. 972. Number 7. Mr. Jones has many sheets of paper. He has 158 sheets of blue paper, 100 sheets of red paper, and 231 sheets of green paper. How many sheets of paper does he have? Okay, so he has 158. One hundred, and then he has two hundred thirty one. So we have to add all of those together. So we have one hundred plus fifty plus eight. We have one hundred. Okay, so there's not going to be anything in the tens and ones. And 231 all right add the hundreds 200 plus 100 plus 100 400 50 plus 30 80 8 and 1 9 so if we add that together 80 and 9 is 89 400 plus 89 480 Nine. Okay, last page for this lesson. 288. <clears throat> so Wesley added in a different way. So he had these two three digit numbers stacked 327 plus 468. He added the hundreds. Four plus three gave him 700. Seven hundreds, right? Four and three more is seven hundreds. Then he went to the tens. Six tens and two tens gave him eight tens. So eight tens is 80. Then he added the ones. Eight and seven ones gave him 15 ones. So then he just added them up. Five, eight and one is nine, and seven and nothing is seven. 795. All right, so use Wesley's way to find the sum. So we have five hundreds plus two hundreds. That's seven. Hundreds. The tens. Three tens plus four tens. Seven tens. Seven tens is 70. Then he added the ones. So nine ones plus seven ones is 16 ones. Add that together. Six plus nothing. Six. Seven plus one ten is eight tens. 700 plus nothing, 700. 786. All right, number nine. There are 376 children at one school. There are 316 children at another school. How many children are at the two schools? So if we use our same method, 376 can be broken apart as 370 plus 6. 316 can be broken apart as 300. 110, so 10, and 6 ones. Select one number from each column to solve the problem. So 300 plus 300, we know is 600. 70 plus 10 is 80, and 6 plus 6 is 12. All right, so how many hundreds? Select one number from each column to, column to solve the problem. How many hundreds do we have total? We have six hundreds. How many tens do we have? We have eight tens. No, sorry. So if you combine 80 and 10, that would be 92, right? 692. So not eight tens, we have nine tens. 692.
Okay, because when we add 80 plus the 12 ones, we actually wind up with nine tens and two ones. Okay. All right, so that's it for using break apart to add three digit numbers. Okay. So lesson 6.2, breaking apart three digit add-ins. Okay, so until our next lesson, I'll see you soon.